Want to go to Matt Hayden on this, whether we should be worried about this, the former Assistant Secretary of Homeland Security. Um, Matt, uh, the Russians, we take it to given, have this capability, or those who operate on their behalf do, um, but we haven't seen it yet. Why haven't we? Well, part of that reason, and thank you for having me today, Neil, part of that reason is because ransomware isn't a point-and-shoot operation. You have to target an asset, and then you have to, just as was reported earlier, it could be from a click of a mouse through a very targeted email or through looking for particular vulnerabilities that haven't been patched on a specific server. But it's not like a light switch. You you could have someone coming after you for the ransomware attempt, and it could take them weeks to get through the door. And even if they do get in, they can sit dormant and wait until they want to activate that particular malware or ransomware. Do you think they're waiting for something big, though, not just taking out as they have in the past? They've gotten broken into defense systems and banks and all that, but something really, really big. And that is why we haven't seen anything yet, that, that they're waiting for something that would be far, far more um, you know, impactful than what we've seen in the past. With cyber, we refer to it as asymmetric warfare. It's going on almost a spy versus spy game at all times. And for industry partners, especially in the energy sector, they're at the battlefield front lines working this beat. And, and the challenge that they're going to have is that not only are they fighting the Russians, they're fighting Russian criminal gangs. And not only are we fighting Russian criminal gangs, we're fighting Iranian criminal gangs and Iranian state actors. And it's a very noisy place right now. So we're seeing a lot of actors out there trying to take advantage of basically anyone that has a vulnerability up. This is actually creating a destabilization in which the, the who's fighting for whom is becoming a challenge. So we're having to advise all our clients, look, the first thing we need to do is patch any open doors we've got available because we actually are getting tips from the intelligence community about where these state actors and gangs are using vulnerabilities and problems like that. So the first step is to prioritize those efforts and then to train your employees that that really closely worded email, if you click on it, you could be the, the, the doorknob that turns that causes this ransomware challenge mm -hmm. to hit us. Yeah, I'm always afraid, Matt, I'm gonna be that guy who opens that up. Matt, thank you very, very much. Good seeing you. Have a safe weekend, my friend. Uh, in the meantime